So you guys, we are here. So much fun. We are planning our clam bake. I guess clam bake, yeah. Clam bake, but look! Oh my gosh! When in Maine you have to have a what? Oh, 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 oh. Look, look, look. Look. Go ahead, go ahead. So the last one was Oscar. This one's gonna be well, that was Earl. Oh, Earl? Yeah, that's Oscar. This one's Oscar. Yeah, that's right. Oscar. That's Oscar. Bye, Oscar. Bye. Bye. <laughs>this week we are in Bar Harbor Maine we are still with Tony and Jane and they are showing us a good time anyway thanks for hitting that play button and welcome to the channel just made it to Bar Harbor, Maine, and we are headed to Side Street Cafe. We heard so much about it from the campground that we're currently at, so we have to try it out. When you're in Maine, you gotta try it out, try out all the food, all the breweries, and it just, just everything looks so quaint, as Shanti would say. Side Street Cafe. This place is packed. <laughs> so we got lobster stew, which is homemade uh, clam chowder, or also a homemade uh, tomato vegetable. So you guys, we are here at the Side Cafe here in Bar Harbor, Maine. It was highly recommended. Look at this right here. She's all excited already. Look at this. <laughs> Look, oh my goodness. Excited to eat it. Okay, where's my um, salad dressing at? Your salad dressing? Did I get your salad dressing? Uh, it's right in it's right your it should be in there. It should be in there? Yeah. yeah there you go. So what you think? I think I'm looking good. Oh. This is good town. Is it? It's the hot sauce is not too spicy, but it's just enough. Delicious. It's not too spicy. Taste. Can you get yours? That's the bar. Hey guys, we came here starving. We left here full. So you guys, we just left the Side Street Cafe here in Bar Harbor, Maine. And I would have to say, beyond delicious. Highly recommend it. We had the lobster, which is the lobster mac, and it was good. We also had lobster stew and talmage. 
So I don't get why it's everything got to be beyond delicious. It why was. Can't it it was. Delicious? Okay, Wait. it was. What, so, what, but why? Why you say beyond? Oh, do you smell that garlic butter? Okay. Oh my god. Yeah, that should smell good. <laughs> yes. Yeah. See, so 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 what would you what would you rate the restaurant? The as far as what I ate, what I ate, I will rate it at an eight. It was pretty good. I enjoyed it. Okay, Mine was a well 12 seasoned. For the ten. Mine was above. So, so I'll yours, give it to you. yours was a twelve, and then some. And what did you have? <laughs> we had the lobster mac, and then we also had the lobster um, stew. The lobster stew, and oh my God, melted in your mouth, beyond melted in your mouth, fresh. Beyond, beyond me, fresh, melted in your mouth. Yes, honey, fresh, beyond <laughs> fresh, delicious, spectacular. Delish. It was spectacular. <laughs> so, what did you have, and what would you rate it? I had the lobster roll, delicious, with the New England clam chowder bowl. I rated it eight, eight oh, and a half. Eight and a half out of ten. Yes, it was better than the one I had yesterday. So, ooh. <laughs> All right. So there you have it. We have some eights oh, and we have some tens. Oh, hey. hey. How you doing? Welcome to Bar Harbor. <laughs> He lives he here, but we yeah, don't. Right, so and we welcomed here. him. So anyway, we are here enjoying ourselves. Nice, quaint town. If you're out here, definitely come in. That's oh my goodness. Right there. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Delicious. Calzones. Calzones. Mmm. Look good. He's making his pizza roll. Let's see if we can go in and get a fresh view. Try five different beers, and from what I hear, two of these beers are popular. So I'm gonna get the two popular beers, then get another beer. We'll get two more of the popular beers, but we get five. Not bad. Not bad at all. <laughs> Alright guys, I have to admit, Maine is very scenic. I mean, they got mountains in the distance, boats here. So for a short trip, where were you staying at at the Kateway? This is a nice little excursion. So, look at that scenic view, you guys. This is Bar Harbor, Maine. Beautiful. Almost like a postcard, actually. So we are getting ready to leave here, uh, our campground at the KOA in Maine town, putting away the trash. Good time here. What time? What do you mean? What time here? No, I said, did you have a good time in Maine? It's all right. Yeah. <laughs> we did get to go into Bar Harbor, which was really fun. Um, we got to also visit with some friends here that have a cabin. Rich and Michelle, thanks for inviting us and having a wonderful dinner with us. And we were here with the Santiago's, Jane and Tony. So it was a lot of fun. Now we are on the road. Uh, to go back home, we don't know where we're going to stop at, so this is going to be some impromptu stops on our way back to Ohio. We may check out some. 
Drive. Harvest Turn Coast left onto US or Route 2 West. check out some more KOAs. We don't know yet. We're just gonna go ahead and drive and then try to find a campground in the area. No set plans whatsoever. That is correct. Yeah. All right. Enjoy this scenic view right along with us. The one thing Continue that on US Route 2 West for one mile. I wanted to do was come to Maine because I wanted to see the changing of the colors. Unfortunately, that did not take place because the colors have not changed quite yet. It hasn't even really started. Even I though it has been cold and yeah. rainy, it has been cold for the last couple of days. It rained as well. Um, temps was like in the low 70s, and some days it dropped in the 60s. So it had that um, Alaska feel about it. And we've been in Alaska and, and, for a couple of weeks, so yeah, we're cold. Not, we're cold. We're, yes. ti we're, we're tired of being cold. We are ready for that 80 degree temperatures and it's still going to be 80 once we return back to Ohio. Yeah. At least for the next week or so. Yeah. So we're excited to get back and get back on our daily In our half daily a mile, life. turn left yeah. on the main 23 south. But as soon as we get back, we are camping with a group of friends. So we'll be home for like maybe a couple of days two days and then after that we're gonna go back out camping so you know us I would have to say basically every weekend we are camping somewhere put in the description box because I would love to know the, Take the amount next left on domain 23 south of times you camp within a year is it every weekend is it every other weekend is it once a month but I would like to know how many times out of the year do you camp guys we made it back to Ohio after our long trip to Maine four days later it's time to take our RV in to get fixed to get the window fixed remember our window got knocked out when we was in Carolina Pines by a flying tent um, a guy he failed to anchor his tent down he left the park to go to Myrtle Beach to swim and a storm came through so we have not heard back from them yet we sent them multiple emails our insurance company called and he told our insurance company that he do not feel liable and i i didn't understand why wouldn't he feel liable when he failed to stake his tent in why wouldn't you feel liable it was your tent that hit our rv now his tent actually cost us money out of our pocket $500 deductible and we might have some extra charges on the end um, of getting it fixed we are taking this to General RV to get fixed and all I asked the guy to do is just call maybe I maybe would it be wrong if I give you his name there she go I see her from here I see her from here she's all back together again it's on the back side. I gotta turn around, turn around and go the other way. Look at that. She's all back together again, guys. Anyway, so let's check Smokey out. Two and a half months later, Smokey is back together again. 
They got her all cocked up. Look at her. Like that never happened. But we still got some stuffs over here. I can take that off. I'm about to go get it washed. I'm gonna clean it up, then I'm gonna go get it washed. We look good. We look good. All right, Smokey. All right. We threw the bike rack back on. We got their bikes on there. Electric, shout out to them. Shout out to General RV for getting us in and getting us out. Shout out to them. I got about a 45 minute ride. I'm gonna take her to Blue Beacon and get her all cleaned up. Get her back on the road again. All right guys, I made it back to the storage. I just had to go get the RV all spanked up, cleaned up, because this RV has not been cleaned in two months. I mean, I took it to Blue Beacon. They did an outstanding job. Everything looked like it's supposed to look. RV looking new again. Guys, you just don't know the feeling of having your RV all back together again. Um, like I said before, we're used to it, but there's nothing like having it together. 